Hello. Salve. Bonjour. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else do I have. Cheers. I have cheers. I have. Aloha. <laughs> okay, this is just getting weird. It's been a long time since I've seen everybody. It's been almost almost two weeks. No, not almost two. Almost three weeks. I haven't uploaded... I mean, the, okay, those other two videos don't really count. Because I didn't show my face. Because I had midterms, so the past three weeks have been... Study, study, study. So, but I'm back. So, guess what? This is a tough one. It's, it's really challenging, you know? That kind of thing. It's a challenge one. So if you're not a tough person, back off. And become back tough later. I mean I shouldn't be saying this because I still can't accept I mean I accept it, but I still can't do it. These this message that I'm going to be sending giving to you over the next few minutes. And just so you know, disclaimer, none of these ideas are my original ideas. Um yeah, they're not original to me. I snagged them off a blog. I will put the link to the blog. In the description. Anyway, so let's get started. So, I'm gonna ask y'all this question. Are you free? Yes, I'm asking you this. Are you truly free? And I know a lot of people out there are immediately inclined to say, Yes, of course I'm free! Well, freedom's supposed to make you happy, right? Are you happy? Are you truly happy? Like, if you look deep down in your heart, are you really happy? If you are, great! If not, keep watching this video. So, the world's idea of freedom is I can do whatever I want with whomever I want with whenever I want to do it and that means I'm free that's so that's more like license that's not freedom let me give you a personal example I have lots of trouble saying no to get off the like saying no to more computer time I I know a lot of people have trouble with this I'm on the screen all the time not just for school if it was just for school, that wouldn't count. No, it's just like for pleasure. So a little bit's fine, but if it gets so much that I'm on it constantly, that's bad. If I cannot say no to myself, to my passions, then I'm a slave to myself. I'm not free. I cannot say no to whatever's going on. The fact is, the more one does what is good, the freer one becomes. There's no true freedom except in the service of what is good and just. The choice to disobey and to do evil is an abuse of freedom and leads to the slavery of sin. So even if people say, freedom is doing whatever I want to do, not having to listen to anybody else, that might, that might cause a problem. There's a saying that says, if you do whatever you want to do, you might there will come a day when you'll do the things you never thought you were going to do. So then, what is freedom? Jesus said that you will know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now, Jesus, ultimately Jesus is like the truth, capital T, but I'm going to tell you five truths with a lowercase t that hopefully will help you reach the ultimate freedom of Christ. These are not my original ideas, like I said. And if you struggle with them, know that I'm struggling on the other side of the screen with you. When I first heard these, I was like, ouch, really? These hurt a lot and they're not easy. I'm still struggling with them. So, I will now tell you the five hard truths of life. I'm going to like say them and give a little blurb about them and then I will explain them. So stick with me, don't like completely shut off the video because then you'll miss the other half. Number one, life is hard. Face it, you know what it is. Even with ease, entertainment, and comfort at our fingertips, pain and suffering are going to roll around the block anyway. You, there's no such thing as an easy life. Number two, your life isn't about you. No, it's not. Jesus created you to get to heaven and to get others to heaven. You were created to serve. It's as plain and simple as that. Number three, you're not in control. No, nope, you're not. As much as we all love to think we are, we're not in control. Yes, we still have free will, but ultimately, at the end of the day, God God rules the world. I mean, he created it. Q&A, uh, you can't Q&A 48 says... God influences both the great events in history and the little events in our personal lives without like interfering with our free will or making us look like mere marionettes in the world. Number four, you're not that important. Ouch, I know this one hurts the most because we all want to be loved, right? It's part of the human nature. So yes, you are important, but also people are other people are also important too. 
Don't always be the center of attention. Remember to let other people have their moments to shine. Number five, you are going to die. You are a very well-known truth that we don't usually think about and don't like to think about, but it's inevitable, so live with it. So now, before you throw a computer or your phone across the room or shut this video off and never look at me again, um, let me explain all these truths. It's a lot about acceptance, just accepting it and so accepting why this is freeing because at first glance you're like how are these gonna free me and make me happy okay so how is like life is hard how is that gonna free me well accepting the fact that life is hard is just like i said acceptance is a lot of this just accepting that life is hard and you have to deal with these problems in life that helps and i have another view on this on the man who wrote the article um so one time this circumstance i was outside with um like the older half of my cousins like from me to like number four who's 11 um i was outside with them it was really cold out because it was really windy and everything and then i realized um so i was having i was having a lot of fun i was having i forget what we were doing but i was having the time of my life and i realized that oh i need to go inside and check on the younger half of the family that are in the house because we didn't have any adults at home and i forget what they were doing but Either way, there were no older children above the age of eight in the house. Or nine. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. They were young. Under the age of ten. There we go. Um, so I went back inside. And as you can imagine, the house was much, much warmer after it being, like, the wind going 20 miles an hour. I don't know. I was, I'm just... I don't know how... Never mind. Um, but it was really cold outside and inside. It's really warm. So I'm like... Hmm, this is so nice and warm. I don't want to go back outside, even though I was having a lot of fun. And I knew I was going to have a lot of fun if I went back outside. So, either way, I started wandering around the house and I came into my room and I was just like wandering like that. I don't want to go back outside. So, I was thinking about this situation and I was thinking, well, Joya, um, do you want to stay inside your comfort zone and have not as much fun? Or do you want to go outside out of the comfort zone? comfortableness of the house and have the time of your life so one of my favorite quotes of Pope Benedict is the world offers you comfort but you were not made for comfort you were made for greatness so these truths like these five truths the universally they call us out of our comfort zones like what we're comfortable in because we're always comfortable and like just chilling so like live for more than mediocrity why number two, my life isn't about me? Why does number two bring, supposed to bring me peace? How is it supposed to bring me peace? Well, um, number one, the question, Q&A number one in the UCAT, as you can tell, I love the UCAT. You should get it. It's great. The UCAT's awesome. Um, the UCAT in its first question says, like, the question is, why am I here on earth? And the second, and the answer is, you're he we're here on earth to know and to love God, to do his work will on earth and then someday to get to heaven so um uh, by being a human being god has already given you like god has already set out a plan that does not mean you can you have to you're not forced to do it we still have free will yes but what god's trying to say is there's a reason you're here on earth and this is what you're supposed to do and this is what i want you to do so what we're supposed to do is prayerfully and carefully discern the Lord's will for our life. You're here for a reason. You're not a human being floating through space. There's a reason you are living right now watching this video. I don't know what it is. It's, well, it's what God's planned. Um, so accepting, one, accepting the fact that life isn't about you and that there's a plan that has already been, there are plans outside of your plans. Um, that brings, like, you, like I said, accept, accepting it and trusting, trusting that, trusting God that there's a plan. And doesn't it feel good that there's a plan? Even if you screw everything up, some, there's a reason for everything. Doesn't that bring, doesn't that make you happy? I don't know. It would make, it makes me happy. Number three. So, knowing that I'm not in control, accepting that I'm not in control, how's that supposed to make me happy? This, um, one, it, ride, it rides off a lot of what number two says. And also, like, if we logically think about it, we cannot control the world. We cannot control other people. We can't control what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't even know if life if life is going to exist tomorrow. We don't know. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. So life is life. Accept that life is life. And just live in the moment. And realize that 
you can't control the world, okay? So number four, how does make knowing that I'm not important make me happy or free? Because uh, when I first read this, I was like, Father, the article was written by a priest. Uh, I was like, Father, this doesn't make me happy. This makes me depressed. And, but then he goes through it and is like, well, we want to be noticed. We want to be loved and we want to be prioritized and everything. And it's true. And we, we are loved by God, but we have to remember that other people are loved by, loved by God too. And like I've been saying for the past five minutes, life isn't about us. Life is for others. We were created for others. The world was not created for us. The world does not revolve around us. The world was created for humanity. It was not created for this one person who's going to live for 80 years on out of the billions of years that the world has existed. Um, so we weren't created for ourselves. And knowing that there could be times where we need to lay down our life, whether like literally like we have to die for somebody else to live like see maximin colby look him up um or if it's just in a sense that we ser we live a life of service whether actually life is like i said life is supposed to be service like the priesthood or religious life and marriage marriage is a sacrament of service um like that's what true marriage is serving your spouse and serving your kids so um th this brings freedom because when we accept like i said acceptance accept that you are not the most important person in the world and just knowing that it's like hey i can just chill in the background and i'll be fine number five i'm gonna die how in the world does this free me um <laughs> this one's just so like out there in your face um it's a fact of life it is um but it brings freedom because it just reminds you it frees you to just focus on god and focus on that i'm the goal of I need to get to heaven and not to worry about the extra stuff because extra stuff just bogs us down and ties us up and that's not freedom like I've said before it's, that's not what freedom is so just like let go of everything else and focus on the one thing that matters which is God so there you are the five truths that will set you free if you Im implement them in your life um good luck Chances are I've known about these longer than you. I found these about these out last spring, so it's almost been a year, and yet I'm still failing at them. So I'll be praying for y'all. Pray for me. Um, and remember that you can't do anything without the Holy Spirit, so you should probably ask for his help. And don't forget about your patron saint buddy. They always love to help everybody out. Bye!